Hello everyone, this is our College of Designs. In this episode, we visit the Grand Canyon, a timeless monument to the power of nature. What could I tell you that you wouldn't already know? That it was carved by the Colorado River long ago. That you can experience the canyon below the rim by hiking or rafting. No, this much is already known. But to know is not always to understand, neither is to experience. It's the capacity for experience that's the important factor here, and nothing will put it to the test quite like this extraordinary natural feature. Its scope is deceivingly easy to grasp. But what many tourists forget is their own presence, a testament to the changing relationship between the Earth and our human inhabitants. Not many visitors are local. Most come from hundreds, if not thousands, of miles away. Something that, until very recently, not only took an inordinately long amount of time to do, but was, for most, impossible to accomplish. Yet every year the canyon sees over 5 million visitors. Almost as a protest against millennia of confinement and restriction, they flock to the canyon, coming not simply because they want to or because the site is worth the trip, but because they can. The Grand Canyon, in its most simple terms, is an immense hole in the ground that goes on for miles. Do people visit because of its natural beauty? Maybe. Do they come for the recreational activities it has to offer? Perhaps. I like to think that, at least on some level, people come in defiance of all obstacles, past or present, that limit our capacity for experience. It's not merely the act of seeing the Grand Canyon that empowers. It's the freedom to be able to do so. It's the ability to travel however far is necessary to attain a glimpse of the canyon's majesty. Thus, the journey is as important, perhaps more so, than a destination. See the sheer vastness and the unconquerable expanse of the Grand Canyon with your own eyes and you realize the appropriateness of the name. The canyon truly is a grand creation of Mother Nature. As I look out onto that scarred surface, the topaz blue of the afternoon sky against the rusty red of the desert landscape, I can't help but wonder, have we begun to tame the power of nature or just barely scratched the surface? As our ability to travel improves, along with our capacity to understand what makes nature tick, I hope we leave such questions unanswered. It's the mystery and the sense of wonder that places like the Grand Canyon inspire in us that make them worth the visit. Because in so doing, they open us up to new possibilities and realizations. They help us see the world for what it is, a place full of beauty, a place still able to instill in us a sense of awe. I'd say that alone makes the Grand Canyon worth the trip. This is Ecology Designs, signing out. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me next time on Let's Visit as we take a look at some interesting international footage of Bulgaria and South Africa.